What's going on everybody? Good morning. Millennial Economics here. Uh, it is a warm and humid morning, I should say almost afternoon, uh, here in the Midwest. I, uh, I slept in, stayed up too late watching Alone. <laughs> For those of y'all that have watched that show, um, it kind of sucks you in, especially at the end. So I stayed up a little late, slept in a little late, uh, but we are getting after it. Got some yard work and stuff to do today. Um, coming at you from the garden, um, wanted to share just a couple thoughts with you um, I've had recently about how much, how we can't be great at everything, you know, and I might be speaking more to myself, maybe some of y'all can resonate with this, but, you know, with social media, with YouTube, with all the books we have access to, you know, it's very easy to get uh, advice from a lot of different people on a lot of different things. And it's typically great advice. You know, there's some bad advice out there, but a lot of times it's really great advice. You know, I think about, if you watch like the entrepreneur um, kind of folks on, you know, YouTube, then they'll tell you how to start a business, how to market a business, how to, you know, um, stay disciplined and, and all that stuff. And then maybe you watch um, some people on YouTube that talk about, you know, how, um, money isn't that important and you should enjoy your life now and then you hear about people that say you know maybe myself like hey and make sure you invest for your future and live you know don't spend any your money now and then you watch folks that talk about you know wake up early and you watch folks about um, about working out and you watch people talk about um, being good parents and you know there's just like all good information but it's a lot you know and what I found myself recently is, is wanting to implement so many of this stuff because I can see how it would be beneficial for my life. However, it's impossible to implement it all. You know, it's impossible to be good at everything. You know, it's impossible to be a, I don't even know, um, to be a, a great dog owner, to be a phenomenal husband, to be a good parent, to be really fit, to manage your money perfectly, to practice all the aspects of stoicism, to get you get where you get where I'm going, you know, to write a book, to make music, to make sure you have leisure time, to um, travel, to you know, um, one of my things I like doing is to, to go fishing, um, to do house projects, right? Like there are to be great at your job and be fully dedicated. Um, there are so many things pulling us so many different directions um, and what ends up happening in my opinion at least it has with me is that you do everything kind of halfway getting ready to use a <laughs> different word um, and I think that many people out there some of you out there might feel that way where you know you consume all this content and you realize all of a sudden that you can't you can't do it all and so I think one thing that I am going to try to do is kind of make a list. I like writing things out. It helps me kind of flesh out my thoughts. Um, but just write out a list of the things that are really important to me. You know, the ones that I do want to be great at and not give as much attention, if any, to the things that I won't have time for. You know, like maybe pick three things. You know, be a great family guy, family person. Maybe, um, I don't know, spend some leisure time and maybe write a book, you know, and then after you get through with that, um, if one of those drops off, like the write a book thing, then maybe something else comes up and you can replace it. But I think having a slot of like four to five things, and again, I'm just kind of spitballing here, but I think that having a slot of four to five things that you're really focused on, you know, if you are, if you're wanting to be really fit um, and your diet and exercise are taking up a lot of your free time, um, you know, you may not have space in your life to do something else, and that's okay. I think it's easy to, again, think that we have to be great at everything. In all reality, we can't. Um, so I would challenge you to think about that. I challenge you to put some thought into how many things am I trying to give myself to? It could be all great things, but if you give yourself to a ton of things at once, you become mediocre at all of them. Um, and you know, one thing, I can't remember, I made a note in my, my notebook a couple months back I was listening to somebody that was highly specialized and you know it's typically the people that that have the most success or that that find the most from something um, are the people that are highly specialized in that aspect or in that field you know you don't typically hear about the people or, or see the benefits in people when they work out once a week 
you know, or that write a book write once a week or, you know, put up a YouTube video once every month or something like that. Um, you typically hear about the people that are highly specialized in a couple specific things. You know, maybe they work out five times a week and they're really good at their workouts and they're really good at their diet and then you see those results. Or they write every morning and they write books and you notice the results. Or, um, yeah, you get, you get what I'm saying. Um, so, yeah, I would encourage you to take a to kind of a, a hard look at that and, and see what your top four, five, six, whatever things are that you're going to dedicate yourself. And I'd encourage you to lean into those things. Um, and when I say I'd encourage you, I'm, I'm encouraging myself too. So my dogs are barking. Um, I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys are doing okay and we'll talk very soon.